Good afternoon everyone. Me and Ezra, we're down the back of the farm and we're just uh, going to move the cows. Give them some fresh grass. Come on girls! Come on! They all know the drill. We don't use a dog, we just use our voice. Or a gate. So, the reason why, at the moment, with their rotation that they're on, they're on about a 30 day rotation. Um, so, on, the, on that side of this road that we're on, there is uh, four paddocks. So they get, at the moment they're getting two paddocks a day. But when they're right down the back we use a uh, backlatch, they call them. Um, you won't be able to see it on the camera, but just across the race there, there's a spring with the backlatch. And uh, so we move them from where they're going. They get half of this paddock that they're going into. And uh, so they get half of the paddock that they're going into. And then in the morning, the backlash will go off and they can walk home from here. Whereas if they're over this road, we'd have to have these um, tapes across um, during the night. But that doesn't make it very easy for the people that live up the road here. So that's what we're doing. So we're moving them from here to half of that paddock. And um, they'll... Uh, being there for the evening and then when the back latch opens at about 4.30 they'll start wandering home and uh, it saves me an hour of walk so from here it's about an hour and a quarter to walk them all the way back to the shed um, they don't walk back every time but most of the time they do um, so when they get the other two paddocks which are over there they'll have the, the back half of the paddock so, yeah, so that's uh, that's why we do it. But really we're just moving the cows, give them a bit more grass. There's the neighbour's cows just up there. At the moment we are milking 251. We started off with 275 at the beginning of the season. So we had that crap weather so we culled a few. Just it was really a good opportunity to cull any cows with bad udders. Come on girls, come on girls. Happy chewing a cud there. <laughs> come on, come on. So this is how we're leaving our pastures at the moment. This is um, this is pretty good because uh, it's only just now that we're actually starting to leave a, a decent residual. Could do to leave a little bit more than this, but a few cows waiting down by the power pole. 
Come on, girls. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. So our cows are uh, crossbreed, slightly more on the Frisian side, but uh, yeah, we're crossbreed cows, so that's why we got a few, we're a motley coloured bunch. So we have uh, more Frisian looking cows, and then we got uh, darker, more Kiwi cross looking cows, and then that is it's a crossbreed, but she's a um, a red Frisian. So the size, the weight of our cows, we say our average live weight would be five hundred to five twenty. So we're trying to be on the the bigger side. Just more capacity, better production, we find. So we have some more, um, more red ear cows. So I quite like that colour, the, the black to red. She is a first time carver. Here comes the tail enders. You also get some that are a bit more white. I like our cows. I think they're. I enjoy working with cows. Ezra is getting pretty vocal. There you go, girls. Well, there we have it. All the cows are moved. All happy, got another bit of grass to eat. Yeah, it's a good day. Good day seeing happy cows. Alright, thanks for watching. Um, you can check us out on Facebook, Family Farming and Fun. Um, if you've got any questions or comments, leave them below. Have a go at answering them. Otherwise, I'll see you another time. Thanks for watching. Right, if you like this video, please subscribe. Thank you. Bye.